That is the way he's going to have to approach this match. His physicality is unmatched, but he cannot touch the sheer brute natural strength of Rex Hart. He will have to pull out every trick he knows in his book, every bit of schooling that he has. He will have to outsmart, out wrestle, and, and just outmaneuver Rex Hart as he did just there. Oh, nice old school hip toss, followed up by a great flying fist to the head with a cover, and you got two count, and Rex Hart able to kick out. Brandon Bishop right now looking pretty good in this matchup. I have to say, you know, I think he's firing on all cylinders. I think all these beatings haven't taken a, an ounce out of him. No, and he's taken to Rex Hart early, I'll give you that. He's had about two or three two counts already. Now comes with a flying elbow that misses. Rex Hart gets his thoughts a little bit, backs up against the rope, and now attacks the champion, Brendan Bishop. What so a nice clothesline. off right there. Oh, and that's the worst thing you can do is lower. Is now lower the knee on the forehead. Here's where Brandon could get in trouble. If you don't recall, there have been a lot of assaults to the cranium of Brandon Bishop. There's been a lot of damage done. It's possible that he's been concussed over the past few months. I don't know for sure. The medics have not verified for me one way or the other, and I've been asking around, but knocking Brandon Bishop in the head will clearly take him off his game. He won't be able to think straight, and thinking is how he's going to win this match. Yeah, and he's showing it right there. He's clearly in a lot of trouble coming off a back body drop and now a body slam by Rex Hart. Now Rex Hart doing quite possibly the most dangerous thing a big man can do, climbing the ropes. Yeah, coming off the second rope. And a big fader bomb right there. That's going to take the win out of any competitor. Brandon Fish up in a little trouble right now, but a two count hold, and he's just able to slightly kick out of that one. Well, that's that physical conditioning. It takes a lot to wear down Brandon Bishop. I know his cardio is outstanding. His musculature is unquestionable. And here he goes. He's taking it back to Rex Hart. You know, I think Brandon Bishop might have absorbed a little bit of that hit as Rex Hart came over. Absolutely, and I think that's the reason why he didn't get the three count on that one. Big back body drop by Rex Hart on Brandon Bischoff. Now it's Bischoff's turn to lay on the mat. Rex comes up now with a nice elbow to the sternum to the champion. Now with a cover, one, two, and a nice kick out by Brandon Bischoff. You know, Bishop... He, he looks a little bit out of it at the moment, but again, his physicality, his, his conditioning is saving him in this matchup right now. Yes, I think any other competitor would have been put away by now by Rex Hart. But Brandon Bishop, with the fortitude that he has, is staying with him right now. Now there's a big boot to the ribs, and now Rex Hart trying to wear Brandon Bishop down, trying to cut off the circulation to, to his head. That's one of the best moves that you can do. Once you make a wrestler lightheaded, not only is he not capable of, of getting out of that maneuver, he doesn't necessarily know where he's at. Sunset flip attempt, and he got it. Two. Oh, and a nice boot to the head by, by Rex Hart on Bishop. But a picture perfect, uh, not the tag champs, but the maneuver right there. Drop kick by the champ. Oh. Awesome Bishop slam right, right there. What a nice power slam, too. Oh, and barely, barely kick out by Rex Hart. It takes a lot to pick that big man up. Had he been a lighter competitor, a smaller competitor, he would have been slammed with much more force, and that could have been enough to put him away.
But when you've got someone the size of Bret Hart, it's oh. hard to it's hard to maneuver him, to slam him, to throw him around with the momentum needed to to knock him off his game. Yes, it looks like Brandon Bischoff did have the pin there, but Rex Hart had the uh, had the smarts enough to put his hand up on, on top of that bottom rope to get out of it. Now Brandon Bishop right there was going for the pedigree, his, his traditional finish right there, but Rex Hart had enough presence of mind to get out of it. Still just a two count. Brandon Bishop wisely getting the boot up there, kicking Rex Hart square in the nose. Now the thing about getting hit in the nose, you know, it, it your eyes tear up. Correct. You know, your vision blurs. Correct. That will definitely blow you off your game. If you are not able to focus, if you are not able to see, it becomes very hard to hit a target. Rex Hart with with this traditional finish right there, is this enough? to put Brandon Bishop away. Oh, he rang the bell! I can't I believe it. we got an upset here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I can't believe it, Dave Williams. We have ourselves a new world champion. Brandon Bishop has lost the world title to the Canadian Rex Hart. Well, let's wait and see the official. Oh, my goodness. Boy, the fans of Cicero, Illinois, start tonight, but they seem history. Rex Hart upsets the champion of Brandon Bishop. I, I don't even know what to say. Your new power champion, Rex Hart. I said going into this match that the upper hand always goes to the opponent. And he's proven that tonight. Not only that, you know those cowardly beatings that Rex Hart has issued to Brandon Bishop over the past month definitely had something to say in this match. Yes, it has paid off for certain. Boy, it's, it's been hard. less than a month since Rex Hart first made a statement attacking the champion, saying he wants the belt, and here he goes. He has it. What does the future hold for Powell now that Rex Hart is your world champion? I don't know. I think that changes a lot of things for sure, ladies and gentlemen. And only the future will tell what is going to happen for Powell Entertainment with the new champion of Rex Hart. Welcome back, wrestling fans. The massive 300-pound Canadian Rex Hart. Looks like he made easy work out of Brandon Bishop, and, and Brandon Bishop still feeling the effects of the previous week, and and the beatdowns that have been taken from this Rex Hart over the weeks. Uh, you could, yeah, I, I really don't know what to say, but we do have a new world champion, Rex Hart, Hart, Hart and Paul Entertainment. This poses a lot of questions for the future of both men, as well as the future of Pow. Like we've said, Rex Hart, he's the biggest competitor that we have in POW right now. He is gigantic, he is vicious, he is mean, and he is your world champion. Who will be able to take on we'll that find, man? We'll find that out in the future, but I tell you what, we've got a few more matches for this Saturday night. We've got Sassy uh, Steffi coming in the 28th, but this Saturday night uh, we've got the, uh, uh, Taylor May taking on a great Cheyenne, and the debut of Zane Ramsey as he battles Diamond Steel, you know, one-on-one -on -one matchup. And of course, we can't forget, there will be a big POW Royal with the winner facing the TV champion in September. And of course, we're very curious to know who that's going to be. The TV championship defended oh. right here on POW Inside the Ropes. You better believe it. And don't forget, this Saturday night, Fox Lake, crowning of the champ, six champions, six titles, one match. Don't miss it.